don't type it because there might be like you know nazar around the corner and we don't want none of that okay Devin is a lifestyle Hey everybody, hello Idrin, it's me Kenisha from Kisha Zone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be brutally honest with you, I'm actually filming this at the end of the video because I'm not too sure if I even introduced myself. So this is just really a short and sweet video for me to do that. So I want to thank you for clicking on this video and then just let's continue. As you can see from the title, this is going to be a mukbang. And these are all snacks that I have never tried before but wanting to try. Um, these are some wrap snacks that literally came out i want to say in december november december time and these are the two that i was able to find at my walmart so i have one wrap snacks cardi b this is cheddar and barbecue flavored and then i have another bag of wrap snacks this is from the Migos and it's sour cream and ranch with a dab of ranch, okay? With a, I'm not gonna do it. And then these are some snacks that obviously are not new, but I have never tried these, like the flaming hot, um, what's it called? Funyuns, yeah, like onion rings. The regular ones I like. These are Takis Fiego. And these are Chidi, Chidi's Cheetos Flaming Hot and Crunchy. Now, I don't like the regular Cheetos Crunchy, so we'll see if I like the Flaming Hot ones. While I'm eating, I want to just talk to you guys and see how your 2020 is going so far. Today is. I don't even have to look at my phone. I know it's January 13th because one of my besties birthdays today. Happy birthday, Emma. Um, but yeah, so we've been in 2020 for 13 days now. And how's it going so far for your, for your, for you guys? Like, oh, I was not expecting a little cigar moment. Is that on the, no, you know what I thought it was going to be? Like the shape of like the, you know, the triangles that you can dip. Not tortilla chips. I mean like the round, like the cones that you can dip in a sauce. What is the name of that chip? Anyways. Okay. It smells like the spice that I like. Hot chili pepper and lime. Oh. Oh yeah, I like these. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. These are good. I wouldn't be able to eat like a lot of it, I feel like, because I don't like them that much. Ooh. I don't like them that much, but it's good. See, I'm already like over it. I don't know why. Anyways, so did you make your vision board or mood board or manifestation board for 2020? It's something that I've been doing for a couple of years and I feel like right now it's really getting like mainstream and everybody's having vision board parties and it's so it looks super fun. But I'm always the type of person that whatever I put on there, it's not really for everybody to see so i don't know if i would ever like have a vision board party or even make my um vision board i call it a manifestation board um if i would ever make it like online like make a youtube video out of it because there are some goals that i definitely you know i'm going to share with you right now but there are some on there that i don't want to be out in the universe yet like I'm communicating it to the universe and that's it I'm the type of person that 
unless it's like set in stone, you will not hear me talk about it, right? So if, you know, the move coming here, um, I mean, the move from Belgium to the US, um, like getting married, like just anything is, even if it's just a thought, but it hasn't fully been completed yet, you will not hear me talk about it. Um, so yeah, but there are a couple that I am willing to share because I'm just nice like that. I don't, I just, I'm turned off by the way the chip looks. I think that's it, I don't know. Or actually like this more than the last one. Yeah, this is good. Um, so, first of all, let me go back to my 2019 um, manifestation board. I put on there that I wanted to get my driver's license. Mm. And if you don't know anything about that, I'll link the video right here in the cards for you. Um, but at one point in the year, I thought it wasn't going to happen anymore. <clears throat> but in the beginning of the year, I said, so last year, January, in the beginning, I said, wow, my mom is coming in the May may slash june area she's coming to visit us from belgium that would be the perfect time for me to try to go for my license because then she can stay at home with idris and benjamin and i can go to the dmv and i don't have to worry about benjamin and idris being out in the cold or in the rain or just being in the dmv for like one or two hours you know you never know how long it's going to take. So, as we're getting closer to my mom's like, date of arrival, I'm like, oh my God, I haven't practiced driving. <clears throat> I may, maybe I've been on the road for maybe two times with Benjamin, like driving through the neighborhood. So I was like, uh-uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. So... When mom came and she was driving, all of a sudden I felt comfortable to drive with her. Even though she drives me crazy in the car because she, like when I brake, she's braking, she's slamming the brake, like her foot. She's in the pass passenger uh, seat, right? She's slamming her foot, just clamping onto everything. So it would drive somebody crazy, but the fact that she... She takes her time driving. She might make little mistakes or like, she just make me more comfortable. I don't know, I don't know how to explain. So with Benjamin, I'm scared to mess up. With my mom, not so much when it comes to driving because Benjamin is like an excellent driver. Mm. So maybe in like one week, one week, two weeks, I was driving quite a lot and I was like, fuck it. Let's let's just go for it. Let's just do it. So we went and I ended up getting my driver's license. It was like a little test drive of maybe 10 minutes. Way shorter than in Belgium. I believe in Belgium, like the test drive is like 45 minutes to an hour. So crazy, um, crazy different. But yeah, it went well, and there's some more like personal goals that I, I reached last year. Just having more patience, be kinder, like all that stuff that I reached. And then there's some that I did not reach that I put back on my board this year. Um, one is to be way, way, way more consistent with my YouTube channel. A minimum of two uploads a week. And then it looks like it's going to be... <clears throat> Wednesday and Sunday, even though my video Sunday, I feel like didn't do so well. So I need to re 
recheck the analytics and see what dates you guys are really coming on to my YouTube page, but that's like something for me to figure out. Um, so definitely upload twice a week, reach a hundred thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel and post five times a week on my Instagram and also reach a hundred thousand subscribers. So right now I'm not even at 1k on my Instagram. So if you could please pause this video and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's real it's just at Keisha Zone. All my social handles, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, they're all Keisha Zone. I was gonna say at but they're all Keisha Zone. If you could do that for me and you know share my channel and just like the videos and watch my videos. I would appreciate that so much. Yes, do some more um, work with some more brands, do some more collabs, paid collabs, um, paid brand deals, maybe even model for a couple of brands. That would be amazing as well. I used to model, but not like for like any print or magazine or anything like that. It's It was for schools and makeup artists and um, um, I don't know what you call it in English, but in Belgium, or I guess just in the Arabic culture, they have uh, ziennas helping you get ready for your wedding, which means they most of the time they do uh, both makeup and hair. They get you dressed and stuff because a lot of um, like Moroccans and I feel like Tunisians as well, they have multiple traditional gowns, maybe four or five in one night. So they need to like switch up the makeup, different eyeshadow, match the um, dress. And so I was modeling for a lot of that um, back in the day and I really wanna get back into that. So that would be amazing. And also dedicate 15 minutes a day, a minimum of 15 minutes a day to my Duolingo app and learn, excuse me, and learn Turkish. Um, my husband is not really like the type to teach me Turkish. I have learned after 12 years, so I feel like I need to grab the bull by the horns and just do it myself. That was also something on my board last year, but I didn't make it specific. I just said, learn more Turkish or something. So now I'm like really specific about it. 15 minutes a day, minimum 15 minutes a day learning Turkish. I have not been doing a good job at that because I have not even opened the app since I downloaded it. But today is Monday and we're gonna start today. Fingers crossed. No, I'm gonna, you know what, because I'm not editing this video right away, so I'm, I'm literally gonna do that after this is done. I'm gonna sit my booty on the couch and just do the app real quick. Um, what else, what else? This is supposed to be bomb because the onion rings are like, yeah. Mmm, yeah. Okay. From these snacks, I would say number one, number two, number three. Mm. Another goal this year is to go to Belgium. Mm. I won the super random thing on on Twitter um, via Scott's Cheap Flights. They upgraded my account to a premium account, so I get notifications for super good flight deals. So I'm really hoping to get a flight between $200 and $400 per person, a round trip from here to Brussels. Uh, obviously anywhere in Europe would, <coughs> obviously anywhere in Europe would be fine, but I mean like Amsterdam, London, um, Berlin, but it would be Idris's first first time flying so it would be a little bit more of a maybe a peace of mind for us to fly directly to Brussels but that's what I'm hoping for mm. so leave in the comments down below what are some of your goals or you know stuff that you want to achieve this year like are you on a fitness journey a health journey a hair journey 
Do you have some work or career goals? Um, anything, leave it down below. I'm eager to find out the ones that you want to share. Okay, the ones that you want to keep locked up and just have between you and don't type it because there might be like you know nazar around the corner and we don't want none of that okay now that i had all that spicy i actually really do not want to eat these Oh, they look cute. Okay. Nope. Water. I need to brush my teeth. It's definitely still in there. Oh my god. Cheddar and barbecue. Is Maybe I should have eaten these ones first and then the hot one. Well, you know. I already fucked up now. I wonder, because, you know, they have more um, hip hop personalities. Like, is it a collab? Being successful in life and in the music business is all about being true to who you are. Knowing your self-worth, never sweating the small things, and always following your gut instincts. If you follow the rule of thumb, it will eventually create a recipe for success. Cardi B. So yeah, I've, this is like a little quote that was like right here. Migos probably has one too, but Devin is a lifestyle. I literally was about to say, Migos probably has one too, but it's not going to be that, like, ooh, inspiring like this one might be. You know what I'm saying? But I wonder if they, they probably pick out their own flavors, right? And they come taste tested before they approve to have somebody put their face on it. And what would their percentage be? Like, is it like a 20% cut out of the, okay, I'm doing too much, but... I need to go ahead and brush my teeth and then sit my butt down and work on my 15 minutes of Turkish for today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and let's motivate each other and let me continue to work on these two videos a week. If you have any type of video suggestion, definitely make sure you leave them in the comments down below. I'll make sure to take a look and then I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye!